In this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the kernel 32.dll. Now what happens is the Windows boots up, Windows XP boots up and you get a black screen, no Windows logon and uh, it basically just re spontaneously reboots. It goes, it starts to reboot again and again and again and you don't actually see the Windows logon logo. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fix that today. So what you need to do is uh, open up our um, virtual box and uh, I'm going to actually uh, boot to the actual recovery console here um, so I need to put in my CD for Windows CD okay and uh, I'm going to boot to that now once that's booted up uh, we'll be able to get into the recovery console and replace the actual kernel 32.dll file okay so you need to have a Windows XP CD for this okay so what I'm going to do is uh, pause this until it gets the actual recovery console and then I'll uh, show the uh, commands to do it. Okay so that's near the option screen now so what we need to do is let that um, boot to this part here and push R to enter the recovery console so as you can see we need to push R to enter the recovery console like I'm going to do there and let this load up and once that loads up you may see something slightly different here but obviously uh, I've only got one partition with C windows on it so that's the one I'm going to be putting in one if you've got a dual boot you need to pick which one it's got the corrupted uh, kernel one so we're going to push enter here now I haven't got an administrator password but if you have you need to enter it in at this stage and the first thing I need to do really is change directory to system32 okay so now we're in the system32 uh, directory what I need to do here I'm just going to clear the screen so we can see what we're doing so the first thing I want to do is type ren which is rename okay and I want to put a uh, kernel 32.dll okay and then space and then kernel again okay um, 32 Dot old. So what I'm going to do is just make a copy of that, okay? And that's made a backup copy of that uh, old file there. So what you can do, if you wanted to, you can actually type dir, and you should see um, that file in there, okay? If you search all the way through, you'll see the kernel file has net has got dot old on it, okay? So I just need to uh, get to that stage. And you should see okay so I've uh, pulled it down to there and you can see now kernel 32.old and uh, you can see it there kernel Kernel, kernel 32.old so it's been renamed okay so in case I need that file again okay so what we need to do here is get to the end of the page and we'll start to uh, put our new file on okay so here we are at the bottom here what I'm going to do here is just uh, clear screen so we can get back so what we need to do now is type map and this is going to tell us, um, oh sorry, put type in there. So we need to type map and this is going to tell me my CD-ROM drive which is D as you can see there okay. So now I know that's D, that's the command I need, to, the, the actual uh, drive letter that I need to put in. Okay so what I need to do is expand and then D and then colon then backslash okay and then I386 like so and then uh, kernel 32 uh, put backslash there first and then uh, kernel 32 and then under and then uh, dot d d l underscore and then once we've done that that's going to go straight into this directory okay because we're in system 32 so it's going to put it straight into there okay now once that's done all I need to do now is push exit and we should be fixed okay now that's going to solve the problem where you boot up and you get the black screen and um, 
there's no Windows logo and it just reboots okay so that's the problem fixed okay there we go so we've got the Windows logo and away you go so I hope this uh, uh, video has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk uh, thanks very much for watching these videos if you enjoy these videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and also if you've got any questions please leave a comment or go over to my forums and post a question over there and I'll do my best to answer it for you got any uh, video requests by all means uh, uh, send us a private message or post it on the forum and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Okay, thanks a lot for your support guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.